What is going on guys, it's Joaquin Corrales. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna go over a step-by-step -step blueprint on what you guys need to do in order to start your Shopify store. Now, I know a lot of people watch these videos and they watch the tutorials that I put up on how to run Facebook ads, how to run Shopify, but the main thing holding them back is actually starting, actually going out there, putting the steps into play and starting their store, which is ultimately what's gonna put you closer to, to getting your first sales and to finally starting to make money drop shipping products online. Because the cool thing about drop shipping is that unlike using Amazon and unlike using different platforms, you don't need to invest any or much money up front, right? You don't need to buy any product whatsoever. All you have to do is figure out a way to get someone to buy what's in your store. And then once you have that money, you go out there, you buy the product and you send it to them. And how we get people to buy stuff is using YouTube ads and using Facebook ads. Now I'm going to go over the very simple blueprint on how you guys are going to be able to go out there and create a Shopify store step by step and finally start getting your first sales. Now I'm going to link throughout this video and in the description to actual step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do these things that I'm going to be talking about. So we're briefly going to touch on them so that you guys are able to see it broken down because just like, for example, when we have this big project in programming or when we're really trying to drill down into how we make our goals come to life, it all comes down to breaking it down to the lowest level, right? Like, yeah, you want to make a million dollars next year, but what do you need to do? Like how many products do you need to sell? How many products do you, how much research? And because you know how much products you have to sell, how many, how much research do you have to do? How many products do you have to put up and attempt? Or for example, in my case, I want to get contact flow making a hundred thousand dollars a month. So what do I need to do that? Well, I need this many users. And so now what am I going to do to get that many users to the program? And so you really have to just identify a goal and then what you need to do to do that and then what do you need to do to do that and you take it down to like the lowest level which are the things that you do on a daily basis so now we're going to go a couple of levels down as far as creating your shopify store now the first thing is actually creating your shopify account right that's the first thing and the and what you have to start with when you want to start selling on shopify so you go to shopify.com you could use the link down below and you create your account now when you're creating your account there comes this part where you have to choose your name. And if you don't know, uh, if you don't know what your name is, that could be, that has been the reason actually why a lot of people that I know have not gone through with creating their Shopify account because they get to the name part and they're not sure what name they want to put. So they leave it for later and then never do it. And what you guys have to realize is that the name does not matter. The name that you choose for that Shopify account does not matter at all because later we're going to have a domain, right? Which is going to be like the .com or the dot uh io or whatever it is whatever domain you buy which you could get for a dollar um is what people are going to go to so it doesn't matter what your store is actually called when you're creating your shopify account now shopify has a 14-day free trial and if you use the link down below you'll also get a discount once you go yearly but anyways let's go back to step number two so step number two is choosing a nice default team uh, theme so you guys don't have to get the paid themes i mean the paid themes are like over a hundred dollars each they're pretty expensive for uh for shopify as opposed to like for wordpress or something else so you choose a nice default theme that you like that looks clean and that kind of goes with what your brand is right what type of things you want to sell so the third step is creating the about the frequently asked questions the contact the tos and the policy pages and creating these pages is super simple like you go to the bottom left hand corner of your shopify store you, you you're able to generate the terms of service and the policy pages like you don't even need to come up with what to put in there the about is cool and it's a page that a lot of page a lot of uh students that i've had don't include in their actual website and that could affect the amount of sales that you get because the the bottom line is that when you get someone to come to your store what's really going to determine whether they buy from you or not really is how much they trust your website how much they trust your brand and by you having an about page sometimes a lot of people will click on it to see what you have in there right and if it somehow relates to them and if they somehow deem it uh, trustworthy then they'll go ahead and they'll follow up on their purchase so make sure that you have that frequently asked questions you guys could go online and look at different stores and see what they have and the contact is obviously a default page from shopify in which people are going to be able to get in touch with you so definitely don't forget about including these pages i've seen a lot of stores as well just have like products at the top and that makes it seem like uh like it's not professional like no online store ever out there only has one 
one tab at the top for products. So make sure that you have your separate pages. And like I said, there's going to be uh, videos linked around here and in the description showing you guys step by step on how to create these stores. Uh, actually, create as I create one with you and show you how to create these pages, how to choose the theme, how to create your Shopify account. So step number four is connecting the best free apps. And a lot of people don't do this and, and they're spending so much more time doing things than they would otherwise. So um, Shopify has an app platform very much like the Apple App Store or the Android, uh, the Google Play Store. And what that is, is an app store in which third parties are able to create apps to help people uh, with their Shopify stores to, to increase sales by using certain apps to make order processing a lot easier. And some of the ones that I always use, and these are actually free. The first one is Oberlo. This is a, a company that actually got bought out by Shopify. Uh, and what Oberlo is going to allow you to do is import your products and be able to very easily uh, process orders through AliExpress. So AliExpress is going to be one of the websites that you guys use to go ahead and to go out there and find the different products. And once someone puts an order on your website, it's going to show up in Overlo and you're literally going to be able to click one button and, uh, and have that product ordered for you and sent to the person that ordered it. So you don't have to go on AliExpress and type in the name, the address, whatever. It does a lot of that for you and it makes order processing like a hundred times easier. The free persistent card app, that's actually a pretty cool app. And what it does is that uh, somehow these people figured out a way to be able to keep people's cart, whether they go on their phone or their computers. Um, so for example, let's say that I'm on my computer right now and I'm in a, an online store and I add something to cart. If I later go on my phone, uh, using IP address and using the Wi-Fi or whatever, they're able to show those same exact items in the cart on my phone. So that's free. And why wouldn't you have it? Like, it's awesome. And the last one is conversion plus, and this is another free one. And what the Shopify app does is that it will, um, it will add a timer to your cart. So when someone adds something to cart and they go to that checkout page, it's going to add a timer at the top that goes down from, I like to keep it at seven minutes. It goes down all the way to zero and it kind of, uh, gives people some, a sense of scarcity as far as your cart is going to expire. So hurry up and finish, uh, checking out before your cart expires. So something like that. Now the fifth step is to find products to sell and then actually import them. Now, when it comes to finding products and sell, this is only one step, but, uh, there's, there's a little bit more that goes into this as far as product research, what products do you buy? Like for example, um, a lot of people talk negative of niches that are, that are saturated, but you actually want to get in a niche that is saturated because the only reason why it's saturated is because there's a lot of people in there making money. What you want to make sure that you don't do is that you get into a product that is saturated. You do not want to sell a product that is saturated, but you do want to get in a niche that is saturated because that means there's a lot of money there and there's a lot of people buying stuff, right? And so you just want to find the right products in the niches that are saturated. If a niche is not saturated, that means there's very little money there and very little potential for you guys to succeed with those uh, products. I'm going to have a video somewhere up here or in the description as well showing you guys how I go into AliExpress and how I do some sort of uh, product research is also another, another video that I uploaded a couple of days ago, showing you guys how to spy on your competitors. So that's actually really cool because we're able to go out there and we're able to see the top Shopify stores and we're able to, to see what products are selling the best on their websites. So imagine you knew that a store was, uh, had a million visitors per, per month, which means that they're making a lot of money because a store getting a million visitors per month, uh, obviously through paid advertisement. So these people are paying to get these people into their website are making a return on investment and probably a pretty big one. So imagine being able to go to those stores and see what products on these people's stores are generating them the most money, right? Like that would be awesome. And you're literally able to do that. Uh, in one of the YouTube videos that I posted a couple of days ago, I showed you guys how to, how to find your competitors and how to go in there and find the products that are generating the most money. And uh, so go ahead and watch that. And now the final step, which is step six, is running Facebook ads to the product. So now you have your store set up. Now you have the products to sell. Maybe you're modeling a competitor and using products very similar to them. Or maybe you did some research and spent a couple of hours just looking through it and figuring out what it was that you wanted to sell. But now that you have your store set up and the product, how are you going to get people to buy stuff from you, right? And it's by running Facebook ads. And we start with Facebook ads and later on we start running YouTube ads. I haven't created a lot of videos on YouTube ads yet, but for example, 
for us, for my business, YouTube ads is what's working the best right now. And the reason for it is because you're able to get in video, right? Very much like this and get in people's faces and build that trust with them on a separate level than everyone is doing on Facebook by just showing videos and pictures of products. So think about it because Facebook is now easier in the sense that uh, you could just go out there and throw a product in front of people. What's going, what's harder, right? Which is YouTube and being able to create a video and interact with people and show them how your product could be used and things of that sort, uh, because that is harder and takes more work. Uh, there is less competition and so it's a lot more effective. I'll make some videos on that if you guys want me to, but I also have a, a 50 minute video showing you guys step by step how to become, how to go from beginner to master in Facebook advertisement. If you guys want, check that out. It's somewhere up here or in the description. I also have another video where I talk about retargeting and retargeting in Shopify is extremely big because you're able to do things such as, for example, let's say someone comes into your store and they go to a specific product and they don't buy it right they went to that store maybe they even added the product to their cart but they do not go through with the purchase the cheapest way for you to get a sale in that scenario is to retarget that person and give them a discount to come back to your store and finish their purchase as opposed to to continuing to run ads to cold traffic right because at the point of that person putting that in their cart they're now warm traffic right which means that it's someone who has been exposed to you and so it's a lot cheaper for you guys to go after this person, right, who already has had that exposure with you than for you to try and go out there and find someone entirely new to buy this product. And so that's just an example of a retargeting ad. You're also able to do more advanced stuff, which is create lookalike audiences. So for example, when we run our Facebook ads, we're going to optimize for add to cart. We're going to optimize for purchases. And what we're telling Facebook to do is, for example, let's say that Facebook sees that a guy named Bob who likes fishing and who has three kids and uh, and has a business degree is very likely to buy your product because uh, four other people with very similar interests and very similar characteristics have bought your product as well, then Facebook is going to go out there to all of its users and it's going to find people that have very similar characteristics to these people who are selling and it's going to show them your product and you're going to convert a lot better. And that's basically what Facebook optimizing is. Now to take it to another level, once you have, for example, a hundred people that added your product to cart or a hundred people that purchased a specific product, you're able to go to a certain section on Facebook and tell them, hey, I want to create what's called a lookalike audience. And I want uh, I want my lookalike audience to be 1% different than this group of people, which means that it's uh, people that are as closely related. And Facebook is going to go out there to all of its users and bring you 2 million people that are exactly the same or very similar to the people that bought your product. And obviously now, once you start running advertisements to these lookalike audiences, you're gonna start getting purchases for a lot, a lot cheaper. And that's how I make most of my money, just running a whole bunch of different lookalike audiences with a whole bunch of different strategies and not so much with interests. So going on Facebook and running advertisements based on interest because it's an easier thing to do. And because it is easier, it is more saturated and a lot more people are doing it. There's more competition. And so you generate less profit, but by using these little more advanced strategies, there's less people there because it's harder. Right. And so you generate a more positive ROI. I also have videos on that. Uh, and guys, if there's any other videos that you want to see as far as Shopify, as far as creating software, I have a lot of, ex of experience creating software companies, creating mobile apps, hit me down below on some things that you want to watch. This is a 180 day challenge. So we're releasing videos daily. I think we're on day 19 or 20, which is awesome. Uh, we're also giving away a thousand dollars worth of software and uh, entrepreneurship courses every single week. And all you have to do to um, all you have to do to qualify is to go down below and hit a subscribe, hit a like, hit the notification bell. So you guys get notified when I drop a new video and make sure you comment on this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see on this channel and we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, you guys have been posting a lot of different comments on different videos that you want and I've added those to the list. They're coming within the next couple of days. Remember 180 day challenge. So we're releasing videos daily. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one.